talking about this this war with the media, that's what Trump calls it. Uh, you, you seem to think the media is also at war with Trump. Is that fair? Uh, absolutely. But that's what you see. Can I, mean, can I read I mean, from your... Yes, uh, I mean, I don't think that there would be anybody who would credibly disagree with this. Many the, journalists the, say absolutely not. This is not a war against Trump. Uh, yeah, you, you know, um, the me... It's just, like, preposterous. Um, and, and also, the interesting thing is then you can follow them on Twitter, where they are having a very personal war with Donald Trump. But very clearly... Or a clearly, war against lying and falsehoods. Uh, very clearly... At the center of this is this new grail that we have. How are we going to take this guy down? Let me read from your Newsweek column. Uh, let's put part of it on screen here. You said the media strategy is to show Trump as an inept and craven sociopath. The Trump strategy is to show that media people are hopeless prigs out of touch with the nation. And you mentioned me. You said the media correspondent for CNN turns to the camera every Sunday morning and delivers a pious sermon about Trump's perfidiousness. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, tell me about that particular issue. Do you feel that my style is wrong or my substance is wrong, trying to fact check the president? I, I, I think it's, uh, and I'm, I mean this with um, truly no disrespect, but I think you can uh, border on being sort of quite a ridiculous figure. Um, it's not a good look to s repeatedly and self righteously defend your own self interest. The media should not be the story. Every week, in this religious sense, you make it the story. We are not the story. You think there's I, room for one hour a week on CNN for this? I, 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 listen, I, I love your show. I just wish you wouldn't turn to the camera and lecture America about the virtues of the media and, and, um, and everyone trying to attack, attack it. The media will be fine. The media doesn't need defending? In this moment, we the don't... media does not need defending by the media, certainly. <laughs> okay. um, you, you know, and and so far the media is. Uh, uh, I mean, the New York Times front page looks like it's 1938 in Germany every day. No, um, it does not. Um, Give me a break. The New Yorker is, as I say, has 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 left all of its standards behind and now become, um, uh, uh, you, you know, an opinion vehicle constantly. You either think this is an unusual presidency or you don't, right? Isn't that the divide? You either think this is a highly unusual and, and fact-free world I, well, I think, or you don't. It seems I that think you think all, this is sort I of think, normal I think like all every other presidency. Presidency, All new presidencies are unusual. Mm -hmm. I think this is unusual, and I think it's actually a great story, and which is why, why I am, like um, all of us, spending every day on it. So, mm. but... There's a very interesting distinction here, here to make, and, and many people are not making this. We spend time on this story because it's so interesting. True, um, true. Everybody else, however, is sending, saying we spend time on this story because it's so appalling. So wh wh where is the, wh where's the reality there? The truth is we really like this. We really want to be on it. We are really... Um, I, it's it's a, a kind of golden media age right now. That we can agree on for sure. Michael, good to see you. Thank you.